As the leader of the Froggy Army, it is my duty to tell you that we've only got one week left for Switch Lite cases, so if you want to grab one, you gotta grab one soon, bestie. Check them out on my merch store linked down below. Now let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with some stream highlights for this Publix build that I started working on. So today we are going to be building a Publix on this island. It's a grocery store chain that is like mainly in Florida, but they have like a bunch of different features that like people love. So like they have a really cute bakery area and they have the most incredible cookies. They have a deli that's very famous for like the sub sandwiches that you can get there. I moved the house that was here. Yep. So we gotta, we gotta fix that because this is where our Publix is gonna go today. <laughs> okay. So there's our house. There we go. Now I'm just gonna time travel and get that built. Obviously we're going to turn my house into Publix. All right, this is going to be our grocery store. We got Boots the Fifth in here. He's chilling. I really wanted to use like my entire house. So we have at least three builds that we're going to do. Stitches. <sighs> Did he really just say hi, cockroach? I'm embarrassed. Oh, there's two of them. Oh goodness, this is an issue. The main room is going to be like the main shopping area with like your typical stuff. Store aisles with all of the stock on it. We're gonna have the checkout lanes and that's pretty much it. I like to do wallpaper and flooring first. And this was the closest flooring that I could find to Publix flooring. Publix has white floors with a very tiny, like little speck dots all over it. But this was the closest thing I could find. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna do like the, yeah, the grocery store, obviously. Yeah, that seems like grocery store lighting. <laughs> I also wanna do like a little freezer section somewhere. I'm thinking on this wall. Why is it only that much? Okay, I mean, I guess that works. Okay, let's try to plan out where everything is gonna be. I was gonna use these as like the checkout lanes. I saw somebody use this merchandise table and I thought this could be like in the freezer section or like the sushi section where they have like the, the meat and fish on it. I thought it could be like that. I also wanted to include an actual freezer even though the only one that we have is like the ice cream one. So like, I don't know how well that's gonna work but we might try it. I was thinking about using the green freezer but I thought it was maybe like too much of a different shade of green it could be okay it could be okay let me let me just bring out all the furniture that i want to be including here that way i can know if this is not gonna work <laughs> kind of right off the bat i wanted to put the little checkout counters and put the registers on top of them you know what i'm gonna reduce this down to two because i think three is a little much i am gonna put stuff like in front of half of the doorway i don't care i'm using as much space as possible okay i think let's change the frozen food accent wall to this side i think that's gonna be a little bit easier for me to comprehend let's do this let's just make a long aisle okay i think i'm gonna scooch this over or we don't scoot it over we keep it here and on top of it we put another row against the wall or is that excessive because we already have the wallpaper with the store shelves on it this is why i don't do interiors because I just, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> yeah, I think I, th I think I like this. This is feeling more grocery store. Don't forget the shopping cart item. Thank you, thank you. You know what? Funnily enough, I know it seems so obvious, but I was literally gonna forget. Okay, so we'll put one of these down this aisle. Oh, I wish you could put stuff in the cart. How cute would that be? Let's put like a shirt or something to be somebody shopping. Let's just do this mom sweater. Okay, so I guess let's get a few more of these in here since we have some more room back here. Do I have? a like little radio or anything we do have to have some like store shopping music you know we can flip these around to make another aisle kind of like a little mini one i'm gonna put another shopping cart and let's do another mannequin okay let's see what else can we shove in this corner i was kind of thinking these magazine racks to be like by the checkouts when you see all of like the i was gonna say clickbait magazines oh my goodness chronically online tabloids the tabloid magazines so i think we'll just use that right there to take up that space i say let's work on some wall stuff we're not gonna have too much but let's do a little bit i was thinking these cameras to watch over these self checkouts i'm just gonna do like a bunch of like random stuff like light switches and these random breakers just to make it feel more of like corporate store i guess you know what i mean if that makes any sense like maybe these are the controls for the freezers 
stuff like that. Oh, I had another idea. I had these glow-in-the-dark stickies. These are so useful. I'm gonna use these to put the public sign. I guess we'll move this clock and we'll put this above the doorway. Uh, ceiling stuff. I think that's good. We don't need that many fluorescent lights. Heck yeah. Obviously, we will have some shopping bags. We'll put some of this. Uh, let's do some orange marmalade since we are doing Florida Island, so, you know. Oh, let's do some polishing. I was definitely thinking for the freezers, we do something like this, right? So it's like nice and frosty. Kind of like that little frosty effect over there. I think that's cute. We'll just do something like this. Some little electronic lines. Or do I do the other one? I think this one's actually better. Yeah, I like that one. It's pretty cute if I do say so myself. I like it. We've got the aisles. We've got the public sign. We've got the checkout. We've got a little magazine area, magazine rack area with the carts. We've got the little freezer section. I'm happy with this. This is like kind of the build idea i don't even know what color is this i don't know this is okay this is just the general vibe okay this came out nothing like the picture but you know <laughs> it's fine oh yeah i don't know about this i don't know about this chief okay let me let me go let me go re reassess here let me go <laughs> reassess okay yeah this is so much better this is so much better. I'm sorry, but with the public sign right next to it, this is perfect. And we got some miles, which is great. Do I bring this road all the way to the front? Or do I maybe end it like, like right here, I guess? Like kind of kick all of this off and maybe do some in-game pathing? I feel like it's kind of weird that we have this road and it leads straight to the front door of Publix. Like, I'm not really gonna do a parking lot because I don't have the custom design slots for that but we could do something, maybe some of this stone. Yeah, I think I actually like this better just to break up some of that custom design stuff. Alrighty, besties, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there for those stream clips because after that, I just fiddled with this front area for way too long. This is what I ended up with. It's not exactly finished, but I ended up putting the little ATM, the little cart corral and all that kind of stuff. But you guys had some suggestions for me in the comments of that stream. One of them was to put the campsite sign turned around for like the little cart corral and I just absolutely loved it. And I think that's perfect so we're gonna go with that so yeah i'm just gonna wrap up some things outside here quickly we're not doing too much out here i'm trying not to make it too complicated but we needed to finish up this cart crowd i needed that last piece and i figured that this left side sidewalk area was looking kind of empty so let's try to fill it out a little bit literally all i put is a coconut tree but hey it helps and then i was trying to figure out what do i put in the front of this Publix. i just didn't know i put one of those trash cans with a little customized um design on it that has like the recycle thing to like recycle your plastic bags i decided that i wanted the Publix signage to be a little bit more visible so i put that full size simple panel there instead and then just proceeded to cover it up with a little tree anyway and worked on this cliff area right above just did some little tweaks shuffled some things around and then we are finishing off this cart corral with all of our shopping carts but anyways we're gonna move right on into the next section that i wanted to do inside of my house so like i was talking about earlier in the video Publix has a bakery section which it's just like any other standard grocery store bakery section um but this is kind of the inspo that i was kind of going off of i'll put it on the screen that's why i chose these like blue tiles because Publix, for some reason in the bakery has like these blue tiles occasionally in some of the stores. This is really such a small room and I really wanted to cram so much in here so it ends up being kind of cluttered and not like walkable whatsoever but just work with me besties. Like I wanted to include so much. I had so many ideas for this. Of course namely one being the actual bakery counter. They have a little counter where you can get cakes and, and cupcakes and all that kind of stuff. They do the typical stuff. So I wanted to have that bakery counter. I just made it very very small. Right now it's like a little square kind of shape but I do end up turning it into more of a I don't know long 
shape i don't know what i'm saying but i was just fiddling with things so much i was just trying to figure out like what exactly are we doing here it's very hard to figure out what exactly i'm doing at any point in time for anything <laughs> but the other thing about Publix is that they have their bakery items just like on random tables i don't think that's anything particularly unique to Publix, but i just figured i would include that because that's always what i notice whenever i go to Publix. they have all of their packaged cookies and cupcakes and scones and stuff on top of like these wooden tables so i wanted to try to replicate that as best i could of course we don't have any packaged baked goods everything is kind of like just open and then i also wanted to include another section with a few cakes that were being worked on in the back by like the bakery workers i thought that would be really cute and i of course wanted to include a little apron little piece of clothing to be like the person working the bakery counter and then i went ahead and started working on some wall items i just truly did not really grab that much wall stuff i don't really have a lot of wall items so i was just using a few things here and there and just trying to make it work i wasn't really too concerned with putting that much on the wall i just figured some little knives could be like the cake tools and stuff like that etc etc i also wanted to include a little floral section like a little floor not florist area but a little floral arrangement area because usually at most of the publixes that i go to there is a little floral section usually by the bakery and they have like the flowers that you can buy and bouquets and they usually have balloons and stuff that would be related to like birthday parties and gifts and stuff like that because you're right there by the bakery you might pick up a cake and some balloons you know it, it kind of all ties together so I thought that the little nook leaf balloon would be so fitting because it's green to match the color scheme of Publix so I did include that I did some little heart bouquets and some little wedding wands to because they look like little bouquets of flowers that's pretty much all I was doing like I was saying it came out pretty crowded I decided to include this little cookie rug underneath of it even though there's no rugs in grocery stores but just work with me okay I was like this is too perfect I have to put this in the bakery even though there's no rugs in grocery stores but I just thought it was so perfect so just work with me okay I was like this is the one rug that actually would fit in here perfectly so it's gonna go under all of the big goods and everything so yeah that is pretty much it here's a quick little overview i really really love how it turned out i wanted to cram so much in here and i think i mostly succeeded in doing so like all of the builds that i've been doing on this island it's not truly truly finished i would like to work on the section outside of this house to the left and of course more rooms on the inside but just not pushing myself to finish something definitively and just work on it at my own pace has truly been the recipe for not getting burnt out on this island so thanks so much for being patient with me and just enjoying my content even though i'm not like fully finishing anything but at least we're making progress so thank you so so much for watching don't forget to check out the switch case and grab yours before they're gone thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one